Hello students, this is Swati Deshpande teacher. Today I will be taking few more sums from 5th standard scholarship mathematics section. Today also I will be focusing on units 1 to 4. Okay. Uh, first sum will appear on your screen. Find the sum of all the divisors of the sum of the highest divisor of 41 and lowest divisor of 26. Here again, if you don't know the basic rule, what is the highest divisor of any number, what is the lowest divisor of any number, then you may find it difficult. Students, literally jot down or write down all the divisors to find out which is the smallest, which is the lowest. No, this is based on a simple rule that the biggest divisor of any number is the number itself and the smallest divisor of any number is always 1. If you know this fact, then your work is done. Two marks definitely in your pocket. Because the rest of the work is done easy. Okay. What is the sum of highest divisor of 41? Highest divisor of 41 will be 41. And lowest divisor of 26 will be 1. This addition is 42. Again you see what they are asking. They are asking the sum of all the divisors of this number. 42 ke sub divisors chahiye. So 1 into 42. 2 into 21. Then uh, 3 into 14. 4 into 2 nahi aayega. 5 nahi aayega. 6 into 7. When numbers are consecutive means all numbers we have taken care of. Sub ke addition karni hai. So, this is the right thing, this is the right thing, and then we add it. Simple, isn't it? So, 12. And this is 3, 7, 7, 14. 84. Now, this is the addition. 96 is the answer. Here again, the reading part plays a very, very important role. You should know what they are asking, and we should exactly give what they are asking. Correct? Students, next sum I have written on the board, even the options I have written. This is none of these. Okay? Now we are supposed to compare these fractions. See, in my video on fractions, I have explained everything in detail. Various types of fractions, various methods of comparison of fractions, how to compare fractions, what are mixed fractions, proper fractions, improper fractions. Please see that. It will be definitely helpful. Okay? Chalo, either kya karte hai? Compare karte hai. Denominators are also different. Numerators are also different. Now what to do? One method is there to find out the LCM. But again, if we have a little smarter way which will save our time, it will be good for us, isn't it? So, whenever numerators or denominators are not matching, you can straight away do the cross multiplication. 5 into 6, 30 you should write here. 7 into 4, 28 you should write here. Compare these two, which is bigger, 30. So, like this, correct? So, obviously, your answer is second. Itna easy hai. लेकिन अगर ये क्रॉस मल्टीप्लिकेशन का कांसेप्ट मालूम नहीं है तो यू आर स्टक अप यू विल फाइंड आउट द एलसीएम उसमें टाइम जाएगा अगेन दिस विल बी मल्टीप्लाइड बाय दैट अनकॉमन फैक्टर बड़ा बड़ा नंबर हो जाएगा एंड यू विल स्पेंड लॉट ऑफ टाइम प्लीज डोंट डू दैट दिस इज अ स्मार्टर वे चलो आगे बढ़ते हैं स्टूडेंट्स रीड द नेक्स्ट सम प्रॉपर्ली if the sum of 5 upon asterisk plus 7 upon asterisk is equivalent to 1, which same number should replace that asterisk? Here students take the help of options and they try all the options and they spend a lot of time again. See, time is the scarce resource here. We must optimize the use of time. Means we should use time smartly. Nobody is going to give you even one minute more. Okay? Keep that in mind. So here again shortcut. Aisa sum aata hai. First standard ka apna addition. 
ऊपर वाले नंबर ऐड करो ट्वेल्व ट्वेल्व इज द आंसर अभी बताओ इज इट डिफिकल्ट बट इफ यू डोंट नो दिस ट्रिक then you will now here they have given options at 5 7 12 and 2 students do 5 upon 5 plus 7 upon 5 they see addition is one hai kya agar nahi hai so they try 7 they spend lot of time we have seen this that's why i'm telling you i don't want you to make this mistake this is a shortcut method isn't it easy chalo aage badhte hain There are ninety trees in all in the garden. One upon five trees are of mango. One upon two trees are of coconut, and remaining are jackfruit trees. How many jackfruit trees are there in the garden? Okay, total trees how many? Here we are learning, so I am writing this stepwise. There, if you know the concept, you can straight away start calculation. And save time. उधर थोड़ी हमें steps लिखना है. Mango trees कितने हैं? One upon five. And coconut. One upon two. One upon five of what? Total ninety. And this also of ninety. चलो start करते हैं. Ninety के नीचे confusion हो रहा है तो one लिखो. Five ones are five. Eighteen. Two ones are two. Forty-five. You can take your time. You need to do this fast, but that will happen only with practice. Now, mango trees are eighteen, coconut trees are forty-five. Total, how many have there? Sixty-three. Sixty-three trees are of mango plus coconut. So, jackfruit, how many will remain? Ninety minus sixty-three, twenty-seven. Very, very easy. Here also. As I keep on telling you, same question can be solved in multiple ways without hampering the accuracy of the answer. But here we are focusing on time factor, so smartest way, fastest way. But ये सम अगर fraction के help से करना है, so we can do one upon five plus one upon two. उसके denominator same करो, बाद में addition करो, और बाद में जैकफ्रूट का फ्रैक्शन ढूंढो एंड दे फाइंड आउट द नंबर ऑफ ट्रीज दैट इज सिस्टमेटिक वे ऑफ डूइंग इट स्टेप वाइज बट हियर इन कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम्स अगेन टाइम प्लेज अ वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट रोल इज एट एट सो दिस इज द फास्टेस्ट वे ओके ट्वेंटी सेवन इज द आंसर ओके स्टूडेंट्स वी विल स्टॉप हियर इन दिस वीडियो If you like my videos, then comment on them, like them, so that I will know whether I should make more and more videos or no. Correct? I will come with the next video very very soon. Study well, and very important thing is absolutely correct. Enjoy studying. Bye bye.